Hey, welcome back, guys. So, I'm out here today. This is a totally different day. Uh, the other day was a little bit cooler. Uh, I think I said it was around 60 degrees that day. Today it's actually about 90 degrees. So, um, we're ready for tank five. What we're going to do is, uh, well, tank four, tanks one through four, uh, we were going a quarter throttle. And uh, starting with tank five, we're going to start hitting half throttle. Uh, we're going to do half throttle for tank five, six, tank seven. So for tanks five through seven, we're going to do half throttle, uh, still idling between passes, and um, do that for the full tank, letting it cool 15 minutes with the piston at bottom dead center between each tank. Um, once we get to tank eight, we're going to go to three quarters throttle, and then tank nine, we're going to go to a full throttle just briefly. And then tank 10, we're going to go to full throttle and hold it for a couple seconds. And then just in between, kind of half sporadic, you know, uh, you know, kind of get on the throttle full speed, let off, get, you know, well, I'll just have to show you on the video. But <clears throat> so we're going to start with tank five, half throttle. And um, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys. I'm not going to, you know, take a break between each tank. I'm going to let my car cool, obviously. But I'm just going to show you on the video each tank. preheated uh, get it as close to 200 degrees as I can again before starting and then uh, we'll get started. Alright so you can see we're at, right at 200 degrees. Today today I'm not even going to use uh, I'm not even going to use that uh, insulator on the cooling head because it's not, it says 90 degrees out here so I won't even need that but when you start tank 5 if you're having problems with your uh, engine not running real sluggish or whatever you might want to go ahead and take out that silver I've, I've taken out the silver break-in reducer it just reduces the amount of air going to it gives it more fuel I went ahead and took out the silver one and put the blue one in and uh, you might have to lean out your uh, you might have to lean out your high-speed needle uh, I don't really know exactly it's kind of hard to say it I had to lean mine out about about 30 minutes about a half a turn uh, to get it to where it would run, where it wouldn't run so sluggish. And what you can do to compensate for that, since we're only going up to half throttle, is reaching your low speed. That way you're still getting plenty of lubrication. You just want to make sure you've got good smoke coming out and make sure your temperatures are around 2, around 2 to 215 or so, and you'll be good. So we're going to go ahead and start with tank 5 at half throttle, idling between passes. Here we go. Go ahead and turn this idle up just a touch because it's. Uh, I don't think it's going to stay running on me if I don't. Turn that idle up a little bit. for a minute. This engine is going to have quite a bit of power. It's, uh, it's running really rich and it's pretty quick. That's really not even, that's just a little under half throttle, is what that is actually. See if I can get a shot for you a little bit. I don't know if you can tell or not.
So here's tank eight, ready for tank eight. Got the engine warmed up to 200. We're gonna go three, uh, three quarters throttle and uh, idle in between tanks again, a full tank. On full throttle, tank nine, just briefly. Oh, and also, I'm um, just make sure you keep monitoring your temps, you know, as you're doing the tanks. Make sure you keep monitoring them. I know I'm not showing it, but I'm doing it for the, uh, I'm not showing them because I don't want the video to be, you know, forever. So it takes a long time to upload these videos for me. bring it in and take a temperature reading. These engines, this engine seems to run really, really cool. I know it's running rich, but So this is the last tank, tank 10. We're gonna go full throttle. We're gonna have kind of sporadic throttle. We're gonna uh, uh, kind of get in and out on it a little bit and, and hold it for a few seconds. So here we go. Again, letting it idle between tank or between passes.
31. Not bad. completes the break-in this break-in series uh, a total of 10 tanks if you follow what's on the video uh, you know make sure you monitor your engine temps keep them around 210 to around 230 is about the max you want to go let it cool between pat or let it cool between tanks and you know make your passes and idle between each pass <clears throat> you should have a very successful break-in and uh, have a you know real long engine life so this helped you out. I uh, appreciate it if you'd subscribe, like the video. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to post them in the comment section, and I'll be sure to get back with you. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. All right, so the engine's broke in. I got it tuned pretty well right now. I just wanted to show you how it performs a little bit on some, you know, high-speed passes. What you can expect from it. Now, here we go. Idle's great. Good running little engine. Really good running engine. Dropping temp on his island, 237. impressed with this engine so far. I like it. It runs good. <laughs> Tune's easy. Holds the tune well. And plenty of power, that's for sure. A lot of torque. So, hope you guys enjoy.